Well, dear friends, I'll ask you now to please turn your prayerful attention to those words that I read to you in 1 Corinthians, the 15th chapter. We arrive in this chapter this evening in our week-by-week -week ministry through this epistle of 1 Corinthians, which we began many months ago. And we come now to these verses. Let me read verses 1 to 8 again so that they come fresh to us. Moreover, brethren, I declare unto you the gospel which I preached unto you, which also ye have received, and wherein ye stand, by which also ye are saved, if ye keep in memory what I preached unto you, unless ye have believed in vain. For I delivered unto you first of all that which I also received, how that Christ died for our sins according to the Scriptures, and that he was buried and that he rose again the third day, according to the Scriptures, and that he was seen of Cephas, then of the twelve. After that he was seen of above five hundred brethren at once, of whom the greater part remain unto this present, but some are fallen asleep. After that he was seen of James, then of all the apostles. And last of all, he was seen of me also as one of one born out of due time. Amen. May the Lord bless his word to us this evening. As we come to these verses, this evening I think we'll probably only get as far as verse 3 and 4. But first of all, by way of introduction this evening... As we look at this chapter here, and I make this comment quite frequently, we must remember that in the original...